Hey guys, it's Heidi from Dog Mischief Training. Today I wanted to talk to you about the identity you give your dog. Now, often I hear people say, my dog is dumb, my dog is crazy, my dog is old, my dog is a husky, my dog is a beagle, my dog is a rottweiler, my dog is whatever, and therefore they can't, okay? And what that does is it really puts like your dog in a box and it gives them, um, gives you the perceived idea that there is no point in doing any training or no point in working on a particular behavior or skill because your dog is incapable before you've even given it a shot. And so what people tend to do, say for example, um, my dog is dumb, which is a really common one I hear, like he just doesn't get it, I think he's a bit stupid or he's a bit slow to learn or whatever. And very commonly, this is like, I've got to say I'm yet to meet a dog that can't learn. Every dog is capable of learning. And yes, some are going to learn much quicker than others. But saying that your dog is dumb kind of bottles them in and makes you go, well, what's the point? Now, of course, our dogs don't care what identity we give them. They're not like, oh, my feelings are hurt because she said I was dumb. But what that does is it changes the way that we interact with our dogs and our expectations. So if you're constantly saying to everybody that you see in a walk, oh, sorry, I jumped up on you, he's a bit dumb, he doesn't get it, or telling him to come back, oh, he's so dumb, he doesn't get it, then what you're doing is you're blocking yourself from learning how to actually teach your dog how to do that because you've told yourself, you've convinced yourself in your own head that my dog can't do this. So what you really need to do is when you notice yourself using those phrases, I want you to change it up, change it to, he's not understanding me right now, how can I teach him better rather than he's dumb? Because as a general rule, if your dog isn't getting something, it's usually not your dog. And that's not to say that you're, you know, stuffing it up, but it just means that you need to change what you're doing and learn how to get through to that particular dog so that they understand exactly what you want. So I want you to have a think about the way you talk about your dog, the way you talk to other people about your dog, because we're kind of subconsciously talking ourselves into thinking our dogs can't be trained. And the more people I talk to, I realize how low the um, average pet dog owner their expectations are of their dog. They're so low, like they don't think their dog can ever do these skills, like not jump up or come back or hold a drop at a cafe or not jump up on guests or whatever it might be. They, they think their dog is totally incapable. And I'm here to tell you that I have a training method that works and I know that it works. And the only thing that stops people and stops dogs from achieving is their owner's mindset and their owner's limiting beliefs on what is ca their dog is capable of doing. So I want you guys to have a think about it. Like what do you tell people when, when your dog jumps up on them? Do you say, oh, sorry, I haven't trained him to do that. I haven't, I haven't taught him not to do that. Or do you say, oh, he's dumb or he's a bit crazy or it's because he's a, you know, a certain breed or whatever. Okay, so have a think about it because I want you to change that and I want it to be your homework to think about and consciously realize the things that you say about your dog that are kind of blocking you from actually just getting on with it and training your dog. So I hope that helps somebody. Let me know. Um, if anybody has any questions, please feel free to let me know. Dogmanshiptraining.com. You can also grab the free mini course there if you're interested. Okay, bye.